Welcome to Coyote's Icebreakers. I'm Jody Jackson. Tonight's show is brought to you by our friends at Auto Nation Subaru, located here at the 101 and Frank Lloyd Wright Boulevard. And they've been kind enough to let us borrow this new gorgeous 2018 Subaru Outback. So before we head down the road to the ice den in the style and comfort of the Outback, want to let you know a little interesting fact. 98% of Subaru vehicles that were purchased in the last 10 years are still on the road today. Now let's find out more about tonight's guest, Derek Stepoff. A seasoned veteran and one of the newest additions to the pack, Derek Stepan is quickly making his impact felt in the Valley. After making his NHL debut over seven years ago, the former New York Ranger has amassed over 500 games, scoring more than 50 points in each of his last five seasons. He scores! Beautiful redirection by Stepan. Considered a two-way centerman, Stepan has helped fuel a top line that leads the Coyotes in scoring. Bouncing in front, rebound, they score, and it's Derek Stepan on the putback. Tonight, he sets his skates aside and steps away from the ice. This is Coyotes Icebreakers with Derek Stepan. Well, Derek, thanks for taking the time out tonight. We appreciate it very much. And uh, we do have a great crowd here to, to chat with you and get to listen to a little bit more about, you know, your life off the ice as well as on the ice. So what's a typical day like? You had practice today, I know. And uh, what's, a, what's a typical uh, non-game day, I guess, for you? Well, uh, I'm a happy father of two. So uh, a lot of it's parenting and a lot of it's um, helping with my wife who... Um, you know, after uh, 13 day road trips, uh, <laughs> I was running say, on that fumes. That was a long one. So, yeah, that was so, a long uh, one. So, yeah, I'm trying to do as much as I can to help. My son is two now, so he's mm -hmm. just getting to the fun age where he wants to, you know, play with dad and go in the backyard and hit golf balls and do whatever it is. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's a lot of parenting right now. I got to ask you being a dad, being a, uh, with a two year old and a newborn, Maybe you're one of the few guys that actually likes to get on the road because maybe you get a little more sleep in the morning, right? Hey, hey I don't mind the road, but 13 days is a long time it's away a from long your family. Time. And uh, it's almost like, uh, you know, my daughter, it seems like she's changed already in a month and a half. So it's, it's, it's been, uh, it was a long road trip, but it, it's good to be home and get some time with them, that's for sure. Yeah, I remember meeting you out at a D-Bex game. I think it was Coyote's night, and your wife was pregnant. So, but two's ch uh, life changer, right? So it's pretty busy when you've got one running around and then the newborn. So. Yeah, we're still on man-on-man -on -man defense. So as soon as we <laughs> go to zone, I think we might be in a little bit of trouble. Was that the night that Oliver was giving you all the grief? Oh, yeah, he... Um, I think he was a little jealous he didn't get to throw the pitch out, but oh. I don't think Arizona knows that Swedes can throw baseballs. They, I, I think they can, right? I mean, well, you know, you're, you're from the land of, you know, Finlanders, right? I mean, Minnesota, you're down the road in Hastings. I, I spent some time growing up way, way up north, but um, uh, that's hockey country. And I know in your past, Derek, you had a chance to play at Shattuck St. Mary's. Uh, you played at the University of Wisconsin. W what were those experiences like? And, and for those... Uh, that aren't familiar with Shattuck St. Mary's, that's where Sidney Crosby went. It's really a pipeline and uh, certainly got you going early when you were up in uh, Minnesota growing up. Yeah, so to go back a little bit further, I started at Hastings um, Association and my dad was always my coach. So I was blessed with um, good opportunity from a young age. And then I played one year at Hastings High School and then I transferred to Shattuck um, just strictly because at Shattuck you get you know, I got to play 82 games as a junior and senior, and uh, you live away from your parents. It's a right. college prep school, and I eventually wanted to go to college, and um, Shattuck really set me up and uh, got me on the college radar, per se, and, and then I went on to the University of Wisconsin, and, um, you know, I, I, I think if, you know, 16, 17, and 18, when I was living away from mom and dad at a really young age, I think it helped me mature quite a bit. So when I got to college, I was able to handle a little bit better. One, one thing that you're not saying is your, your dad was drafted by the New York Rangers of all teams, right? Now, he, he never played for the Rangers, but he, I believe he played when their farm team was in Colorado, right? Well, how, how much of an advantage was that, having your dad basically teaching you along the way? Yeah, it, it, it's funny. I, I grew up in such a hockey environment. Um, my dad, he didn't play when I was born. Actually, that year he was, that was his last year is when I came to right. the world. So he actually worked at the hockey rink. He was oh. a Zamboni driver. So I was able to spend a lot of time on the ice. And um, yeah, he was drafted by the Rangers. He 
was committed to go to school. He decided to go the CHL route and played in Windsor. Um, and then he played a couple games in Ranger organi organization with the Denver Rangers. Your role is obviously a little different than when you were in New York, and you knew that coming in, right? Are you enjoying that side? I know there have been growing pains, but, you know, the teaching, the mentoring, and, you know, being a role model and being accountable to, to the team. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, you know, I love talking the game. I talk it with pretty much everybody, and a lot of guys around the league have been asking me, uh, you know, what our group is and what's going on and stuff like that. And I keep saying that it's just such a young group, and there's mm -hmm. so much to learn. And um, you know, I think we have like seven or eight forwards that are still on their entry level contract. I mean, that's almost yeah. less than 100 games. It, it takes some time and to learn what it what it what you need to do to have success in this league. And um, so to be able to you know, spend my seven seasons in New York and have veteran guys teach me the way. Um, I, I kind of like to be on the flip side of it now to try to help some of these younger guys. Uh, you know, and it, it, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I've had a blast with it. And um, I think that's something that... Uh, as we move forward, I'm going to continue to do because I enjoy it so much. One of those young guys has is, is really been pretty good. In fact, he won an award the other day, and that's Clayton Keller. What's it been like playing with Clayton? Yeah, he uh, he's such a young kid, and it, it's so strange that you get off the ice and you talk to him, and you always forget that he's 19. <laughs> yeah. And, and so when he gets on the ice, it's like I'm playing with a guy that's been in the league for such a long time. So he, he's he's got this... Uh, talent to him too. He just got a knack for the net. He's got a mm -hmm. knack for the puck, and 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 that's a skill. I mean, and you know, you always hear good players. The puck always seems to follow him, but it's that's not true. It's good players go to the puck, and yeah. he's always around it. So, um, to be able to have that talent at a young age is is, is it's a really incredible. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm amazed in the, in the fact that he never looks down at the puck. I mean, his head is always up, and it seems as if he thinks the game about a half a second faster than most people on the ice well that i well, outside of his skill set yeah his, his the way he thinks the game is hockey iq is you know through the roof and um that's something that's growing more and more in this le this league is you got to be able to think the game quick and the guys that think it even faster are the ones that are able to take bigger steps and you know become you know game changers per se and uh clayton is he thinks the game so fast it, it's it's really incredible how how important, and, and, I, and I read this, Derek, after the, after the trade was made, and I, I read this about you, and I, I think I see it on a daily basis. There are guys in this league that, um, you know, it's kind of like, okay, hey, who are we playing tonight? I'll get ready. You're not like that. Um, you're one of the guys, I think, that wakes up in the morning. You probably turn on, you know, the highlights, right? NHL Network or whatever. Sorry. And... Um, and, and, and you're into it, your mind is into it. You know who you're playing, you're already thinking about the game, you're looking to see what happened the night before. How, how important is that for a professional athlete to be, I guess, dialed in? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I call it rink rat. You gotta be a rink rat. You gotta be able to um, love what you do every single day. Um, you can't ever get sick of it. I mean, I don't. I enjoy every single day coming to the rink, uh, regardless of what's going on at the rink. It, it's, it's such a uh, you know blessing to be able to go to work and play hockey, and so I love being able to be around the game. I love being able to talk the game, and you know I think uh, the you know the, the guys that become rink rats are the guys that work the hardest because they're, you know they're comfortable just being at the rink, and it's easy to be comfortable when you it's easy to work hard when you're comfortable. And so Oops. I think that's a big thing. Who are some of those guys that are rink rats along with? I mean, they kind of you kind of gravitate maybe to some of those guys, right? It, it's funny. I, I think we. Our group is, we got a lot of them. It, it's, you know, uh, I kind of joke, too, that we got a lot of young guys that don't have a whole lot going on. But our, our group is, you know, we got we got a lot of guys that love being around the rink. And um, even in this stretch so far, I mean, it's still good to go to the rink. We still got guys working hard. It's not mm -hmm. like uh, um, how I, I, I guess it, I would picture it if you were had the start we had. And we yeah. have guys that come to the rink, they, you know, put their work boots on and, and, and they, they enjoy what they do and that's, that's great.